All right, we did Gemini, now we're on Cancer. Okay, Cancer, let's see what's coming up. We're doing all signed singles, but I have been getting some couples messages here and there. All right, so let's see. Let's see, all signed singles, Cancer. Okay, let's make this a quick one. All right, let's see. Breaking free. Getting out of a situation or being on your own now. Freedom and independent. Okay. Okay, what I'm getting with that is not trying to fit in the mold of what people want you to be or expect you to be, but being, it's like breaking the chains. Um, oh, it could be breaking the chains of love, too. Of what people expected when they... Uh, got together with you in a partnership. Okay, so that's changing. That dynamic is changing. Okay, and I feel like, well, let's keep going. Okay, consider long-term issues before you commit. Okay, so wait, compromise, and trust. Okay. Okay, so that doesn't mean don't have a prenup, right? It just means um, Oh, this could be a little bit of that Taurus reading. It's like it takes time to build trust again, right? And this was coming up in someone's reading. It's like, um, if you had a bad experience with someone, not taking that, and it's like punishing the next person and uh, for what happened in the past with another person. It was something like that was coming up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so fluttering heart. Okay, enjoy the romance and decide if you want more. Sweet, fleeting future. Okay. See, that was coming up in another ring too. The fear, I think it was in the Aries. The fear that something won't last. Okay. Now, it, well, listen, you know, there are people who, Enjoy the journey with different people, right? So don't be so hard on yourself. Like uh, Elizabeth Taylor, right? She had enjoyed loving and was very passionate, and she was with several people, right? Okay, so that could be the case that some people just um, may not want to be with one person. Okay, so you, you have to decide that for yourself, okay? Oh, this is interesting. Where you had judgment on another person, you might be leaning in that direction now. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Let's get another card. Okay. I'm getting for someone, you're going to meet someone uh, around someone's birthday, growing apart or getting some space to think. Okay. Now, this is what you did with the person you broke up with. You took time. And it's like they were on the outside of your beautiful world. Okay. They were on the outside of your beautiful world. Okay. And for some of you, you were married to them. Caught up in a whirlwind of emotions and promise. Mystery attraction. Okay. So now that happened... Okay, for someone, that's someone in the past. But what they're saying is, all the good stuff, it's like you fine-tune what it is you want now. Oh, it's like if someone gives you promises... You don't want to get your heart broken, so you would just tell yourself, um, well, just be open 
I feel like this is a promise ring for someone, a promise ring, like um, showing devotion to you without being married, but giving you a ring to um, say, let's take time and build. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Because I feel like there's a bigger ring later. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm getting. And I'm getting that song, Put a Ring on It. What is that? Oh, um, Beyonce. Oh, my God. Duh. Okay, Beyonce. So, what sign are we on? Cancer. Okay, so maybe an earth sign might be a good sign for you. Okay, for, that's for someone. Okay, now, what is this? Strong roots. Yeah, I feel like it's an earth sign for someone. Building a foundation of trust with someone. Faithful friends first. Now, this card came out... Hmm, came out in the Taurus reading. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. This is a little weird. If you were with a certain earth sign and you tried all the earth signs and none of them worked, then try water sign. If you tried one earth sign, uh, maybe try another earth sign like Taurus. Okay, something like that. All right, okay. Let's see what else it says expectations having very high ideas or unreasonable requirements dreamer and fantasies i feel like that's you cancer that's what i'm picking up for a male cancer could be female or a masculine female okay but and i feel like it's the too high expectations that was a turnoff for someone okay it's like it took all the fun out of it okay well if it's not for you it's not for you okay all right expression being able to share your feelings openly vulnerable and honestly yeah for some of you you might be connected to a Scorpio Oh, I see what it's saying. For someone, you're real close to a family member, like a mother, I'm getting. And you are very open and real talkative and everything like that. But then when you get with someone that you really uh, are attracted to, um, something happens to that. Okay, so take a look at that. Okay, pay more attention to your love life to get results. Nourish, dating, and respond. Okay, now this is going to sound crazy. But you know how, like, um, sometimes people don't want to take the parents' advice? Okay, now what I'm getting is getting up, set up on a date, something like that. All right, now this might gross you out. It's like, have your mom set somebody, set you up with somebody. That might be weird. Um, but try friends, friends setting you up, something like that. All right, or a family member. All right, that might work. Now, for some of you, you have kids, and you, it's like you went through a change, dear priority, uh, mindful, okay, so you might have been just like banging it out, and then suddenly, through those experiences, you, now that was coming up in another reading, you put your family first, okay. And you put all your energy there, but they're asking you, don't you think it's time to try again? That's what I'm getting. 
Yeah, embracing change. Through challenges, true connection can flourish. Journey, growth, and shift. Okay, now what I'm getting is um, someone who likes to do the same kind of things that you do. Okay, and having fun doing those things. Okay, whatever it is. For some of you, it's like an athletic person, but different kind of, let's see. Someone who can keep up with you. That's what I'm getting. Someone who can keep up with you. Finding your balance and not rocking the boat. Poise, calm, and steady. I feel like this represents you now. Now that's interesting. There was a card that came out with cages in the last reading. That was Gemini. Golden cage. Break free from stress and toxic relationships. That was in the Gemini reading, I think it was. Escape, worth, new path. Now, worthy was coming up. Okay, so you might be um, a cancer with Aries energy. Like, you harness that energy because you're in charge of your business or in charge of lots of things. Okay. And... Though it's brought you a lot of monetary things, I feel like and some of you had bad relationships in the past. And some of you, it's like, it, again, it's saying take the time to, um, what is that song by Harry Styles? Golden? Okay, but see... Now, if you have a dream of being with someone who's your forever person, right? Long term, all in and invest. There is that potential here. That's what they keep saying. There's that potential here. Coming around, hoping for another chance and wanting to try again. Okay. Regrets and reconciliation. Now, I feel like there's a past person that wants back in, but I don't know if you're going to let them in. Let me see. Let me see what the cards say. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I wish I could have been, uh, it could have been us. Okay. Good luck with your new person. Okay. Good luck with your new person. Oh, I'm getting that song. Isn't she a Taurus? The uh, Good Luck Babe song. Wow, I was picking up Wizard of Oz yesterday. I think she's a Taurus. The one that sings Good Luck Babe. Okay, but what is this Wizard of Oz? Okay, so see, okay, on both sides, there is that bail. And in Wizard of Oz, Dorothy goes to that the Oz, the place where the wizard is, or whoever, and opens the curtain and is shocked. Maybe even a little disappointed, right? That it's not who, um, this grandiose person. Okay. On both sides, there could have been that. Why am I picking up, um, acting? What is that? What does it say? You were never mine. We had an, an unexpected but undeniable pull to each other. In another life, we could have made it. We would have. I would make sure of it. I'd like to think you would too. I miss you, but uh, we were ne never meant. What? But you were never mine to miss. Okay. I feel like there was a, a understanding that it was like um, just the journey, right? Yeah, there was an ending with somebody. Okay, for someone. All right, now let's see what is the juicy stuff. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... 
I don't know. Let me get another one. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one says skin on skin. Okay, and that, that's interesting because I had snake in another reading. Maybe there's like a shedding of skin. Okay. All right. Someone is craving skin to skin contact. They want to be as close as humanly possible with not even air between you. The energy here is all about intimacy and closeness. So I feel like you're headed in that direction. Okay. That's what I'm getting. All right. Let's see what signs though. Uh, where are those other cards? Okay, let's see what signs might be coming towards you. Mm. Okay, so Ten of Cups reverse. I would say that's an Earth sign. And that's like probably an ending with the water sign. Try Earth sign. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, but when it comes to love, you're going to feel freer. Nine of Wands reverse. Okay, so it's like you got to get rid of the wrongs and rights of things. Okay, and you will persevere even though you feel like you may not be able to. This is like kind of feeling like um, you came to a period where you were just kind of indifferent about love. It wasn't really all that important. Okay. But now, you know, the first day of autumn was like two days ago. I feel like you're going to feel, um, we'll see then. Here's the five of pentacles. What is that? For some of you, there was a water sign or earth sign that um, it's it was like an energy zapper. That's what I'm getting could be work or um, a lover okay now but you're gonna feel more uh, passionate the suggestion is to I feel like you're not gonna see it though that's the thing asking you to get out there okay so if there's some habits that you picked up from family that may not be helping you in your singlehood you might want to release some of those yeah that could even be okay that could even be copying long work especially a Scorpio can be a workaholic okay I know they will work to the bones, an older one. Okay, so if that's the case, they're asking you, make sure you balance everything out and uh, have work and play. We know you don't want to be single, Nine of Pentacles reverse. And you've communicated to us, Spirit says, that you want um, someone who's honest and clear about what they want too and we know you are too so let's work towards it get the courage you're a beautiful being get the courage to come out uh, release all your burdens and responsibilities doesn't mean not do it just means make time we understand for some of you uh, cancers there was a third energy uh, that caused uh, it not to come in the way you wanted to 
this is the unconventional way you're no longer naive this is like the unconventional way oh so this is some of you given up on the idea of soulmate okay but this is like finding some sort of unconventional way to press on to Prince of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So there's the earth sign for someone. Okay. Now this is for a male cancer. This is how they saw you. Now, if you're female, there could have been a male that you felt like uh, they were some things that you didn't like about them. Could be a fire sign or air sign. Okay, now. And, and you took time for yourself, worked on healing and eating the right things and focusing on your body and putting the right nutrients and building your um, estate. And now you're ready. Seven of Cups reverse. You know who... For some of you, you know who it is. And whoever that is, you will have victory with them. That's what that's saying. Yes, there's workability here. All you have to do is take the steps. And it's even feeling like they will still come to you. If you're still holding a grudge, you got to let that go. Yeah, if you're still holding a grudge over someone in the past, you got to let that go. Whoever that was that wasn't consistent, wasn't dependable. Now, if that's you, Cancer, if you weren't consistent with somebody and dependable and were not able to be there with love, okay, um, then things are changing. Yeah, you're going in a new direction feel like for some of you it was a Pisces for some of you it was a Taurus oh you know what for some of you don't talk about politics that could be a turnoff okay I feel like that's a turnoff that's a no-go Yeah. Keep it light. Positive. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got the word endless summer. So it's like, if you didn't have the summer you wanted, you could still make it into, I feel like you live in a location where it's warm anyways. You could make it into an endless fun summer. That's what I'm getting. All right, so let's get a heart card and see what that says. Where are those? Okay, this is cancer. Forgive and move ahead. Someone else got forgive and move ahead seven. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone that has... Uh, Aquarius or Saturn energy so that's <coughs> excuse me Pisces Aquarius it could even for some be a Leo it's time to shine That Virgo card, for some of you, is a lot of hermiting. Okay, so get out there. This is like loving yourself again. Okay. Sometimes a new haircut will go a long way, right? New hairstyle, new wardrobe. Adventurous heart set sail on a trip of a lifetime. Okay. I feel
feel like this is like, you know how when people put a shell up to their ear and they could hear the, the ocean. Okay. Could be another um, someone with fire and water. Yeah, this is being unapologetically you. That's what I'm getting, and it takes a brave person to be able to do that. Okay. For some of you, 3-3, three, three, this is where you've been, unavailable heart, facing painful experiences and healing. Okay. It's like a metamorphosis here. Woo! Believe in divine destiny. Oh, that's so pretty. with that. 